Anyway, let me get into what I mean by some of the the myths I'm talking about. So if you go into the the raw vegan forums online and things like that, these are some ideas that you still see people asking questions about and you still see people communicating it and some people support these ideas. The one big one that I think is very kind of strange that people uh, still talk about is breatharianism. Does anyone know, has anyone heard of breatharianism? A lot of people. Breatharianism, breatharianism. Yeah, <laughs> breatharian. This is something that's went back decades. People have talked about it. People have claimed to be breatharian, which is basically living on air, <laughs> living without, you know, not eating food. Some of them claim to not drink water. And it's something that sometimes people aspire towards being. And if we just think about it, you know, logically and step back and think about common sense, there's so many people in the world who starve to death that it just, it just makes no sense, this idea that, there's this, uh, that people could think that they could live without food. So maybe it's a miraculous thing, maybe there's someone in the world that can do it. But it, it would be a miracle and we'd have to, it's like someone being able to fly, walk on water or something like that. It's the same kind of thing. But you will get lots of people talking about it online. People that claim they are breatharians. There's a guy from the UK who was a student of Doug's many a number of years ago. And obviously a fruit diet maybe wasn't enough for him. He wanted to go to the next level. And uh, really fit guy. Really, uh, he was a, a big inspiration for a lot of raw vegans. But started to claimed to be breatharian and that he wasn't eating and he actually put on events and things and I've got friends that went along and were try I guess they were trying to learn to be breatharian, I don't know. But it just kind of shows you that there's things that people in this community are kind of open to thinking about and experiencing and listening to and really that can be very, very harmful for, for people if you try and live without food. It's really, really harmful. Also, there's a kind of problem with there's a little bit of an underlying feeling of, you know, there's a lot of people who are restricting their eating for maybe uh, because they have a certain condition, maybe they're anorexic or, or whatever. And this can be just a way that they're hiding that or, or, or something. And the same with fasting. So it's all, it's all a kind of, it's a bit of a dark place, I think, when I hear people talking about it, because it's a very dangerous thing.